Today, I thought we would look at something a little different than the COVID issues and family law. <clears throat> I have a really interesting case that uh, uh, is now before the courts that uh, involves the rights of same-sex couples at birth. Um, <clears throat> this is a new area of law, and certainly our statutes have not caught up with the uh, the reality of the situation since the 2015 Supreme Court decision. Uh, in that decision, the Supreme Court of the United States held that the 14th Amendment requires the states to issue marriage license to same-sex couples and to recognize same-sex marriages from other states. Uh, that's the case of Obergefell versus Hodges. It's 2015. Doesn't seem like it, but it's five years ago now that that decision was entered by the Supreme Court. And it was a 5-4 decision, close decision, close decision, swung on one vote. And uh, as we know that uh, at that time, I think it was Justice Kennedy was the swing vote as he was in a number of cases. Well, Two years later, the Supreme Court considered a case of Pavin and others versus Smith. This case comes out of Arkansas. Uh, there were two couples, actually, two same-sex couples that each gave birth by in vitro fertilization. And uh, the Department of Vital Statistics in Arkansas refused to put the spouse not giving birth on the birth certificate as a parent. This case goes up to the Supreme Court, and unlike in 2015, two years later, the Supreme Court unanimously held that the states cannot refuse the privileges of marriage from same-sex couples, that the promise Obergefell gave was the full panoply of, of privileges and, and obligations that uh, come with parenthood as, or with being married and parenthood being one of those. So the court then held that the, uh, the person, the, the, the mother, if you will, who was not giving birth uh, was to be included as a parent on the birth certificate of the child. This is an important uh, decision. No, no, no Kentucky court, uh, to my knowledge, has uh, taken this up, but uh, we, we find that uh, uh, the Arkansas statute tracks very closely with the Kentucky statute and uh, it's, it's my belief that this is a controlling precedent. Uh, our case is still pending in front of the courts. Of course, it's a confidential case, so uh, you can't go out and look it up, but uh, uh, we uh, are hopeful that uh, we will get a decision from the court directing that both parents stand on equal footing and that um, the uh, final statistics branch must put both parents on the birth certificate. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if indeed you did find it helpful, please feel free to share uh, with someone who you think this might help. Uh, also, if you found this video helpful, uh, please consider joining our group uh, and uh, also consider uh, following us and, and subscribing to our YouTube channel.